What this is about is about the checks and balances in our constitutional system. When the government argued that the president had discretion, uh, there's no absolute discretion in our constitutional system. The best example, the president of the United States cannot today declare war because the Constitution says that Congress has to declare war. And the judge was talking about the process and wanting to know whether the president of the United States, in particular this president, because of his record and the two women poured out about his tweeting, of whether or not there would be a check. While we are disappointed that the temporary injunction and restraining order were not granted today, um, we will be returning as per advice from the judge who was fair, balanced, and also concerned about the constitutional implications with this presidential text alert. Not the test per se today, but future and subsequent. People do not have the ability to opt out of these alerts. And we have the emergency alert system in place that has been in place very successfully and functioning for many, many years. Why a presidential alert without, and as we heard from FEMA this morning, clear definition of protocol and committee to approve the president's messages is our concern and should be the concern of all the American people. The example that continues to come up is 9-11. Why would someone in Arizona have needed to hear what was going on in New York City on 9-11? It doesn't, it would just cause alarm and concern. One of my personal concerns is that of the 200 million people receiving this text, test alert today, how many of them are our children? Fourth graders, fifth graders, sixth graders, having phones, prepubescent, already in a compromised and vulnerable state of maturity receiving potentially harmful, alarming, and traumatic information that may or may not be accurate. And again, those checks and balances haven't been clearly defined. So minors having access to their phones being taken over is also a grave concern of ours. People have asked me, would I have been as passionate about this if Barack Obama were in office or another president? Um, yes, I would be concerned, but we do have to acknowledge the fact that even last night, we have a president who was making fun of Dr. Dr. Ford's uh, testimony and sending out text messages very recently that, you know, the numbers of people who passed away in the hurricane in Puerto Rico were incorrect. This is not the traditional way a commander in chief addresses a nation. And understanding that we are in a digital age, um, there needs to be clearly defined regulations and commissions in place. Um, about Trump personally, or is that about the government 